What's going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I'm back on a game that I haven't actually uploaded on the channel in, in a long time and that's literally just due to the fact because I get really, really bored of it very, very quickly every time I play it. So, I just haven't actually touched this game. I haven't played this game, you know, just played this game in my own time, nor have I uploaded this game in a long time. But, uh, that's the wrong button to change. I'm playing this. Well, I, I, I am playing with the Honda Civic, but I'm playing Forza Motorsport 7. For anyone actually uh, wondering, but yeah, this look at it. Like what? What? This is a Forza Edition Honda Civic. Why is this not in Forza Horizon? How cool is this? <laughs> it's weird. It's like wide body. It's got a cage in it and everything. It's got fat wheels. It's made to race around the track. That's why I'm on the Nurburgring. Why is this not in Forza Horizon? This is this would belong there so so well. But there's also so many other cars in this game that. I know and I've noticed just from looking at the auto show that just aren't in Horizon and I wanted to hop onto this game and try and get myself a super rare car and something stupid. I actually showed off this car on Twitter a few days ago and uh, <laughs> I literally asked the same question, like, why is this car not in Horizon? But that gave me a little bit of an idea to try and hop on this game, especially after so long of not playing it and just see what other interesting cars there are in this game and I'm going to buy one of them and I'm probably going to just slap a lap on a on the Nurburgring with it and then just see what sort of time and whatever I get with that car but that's pretty much what uh, what I'm trying to do in today's video is kind of like see the weird and like nice cars that are in this game that aren't in Horizon um, yeah this is one of them 100% this uh, this EK it actually sounds so good as well I got the interior hitting VTEC and everything It's a good sounding car. Got a little too fast. That's fine. These tires aren't really the best. Okay? These tires aren't aren't great. I did think to myself, you know, this is Forza Edition car or whatever, you know, this should be should be really easy to drive on the number green. It should have loads of grip. It doesn't really. Um I'm pretty sure it's on I actually don't even I think it's probably on like street tires or something like that. It's it does still have loads of uh, loads of spin. I like I said, I honestly thought that this was on race tires. But it isn't. It does have an alright amount of grip, but I have to go fairly slow through these corners to, to do any of this. I like I genuinely feel like it doesn't have the proper tires on it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna go. It's only 450 as well in its class. It's what? Uh, it's uh let's see. It's C class 450. It's got 300 horsepower, tire width is 255, and it's street car tire combat. I told you. I told you, like, I immediately thought as soon as I was doing this, it's like, yeah, this has to be on, like, race tires, you know, it's just, it's built for the track, it's wide-bodied, it's supposed to have good tires with that, it's upgraded, but yeah, it's, no, nothing's done to it, I pretty much bought that car, and then I took it out on the track just to drive it, um, so I'm gonna go into, obviously, the buy cars section here, and have a look at some of the crazy stuff that's here, um, again, this is just stuff in recommended, so I don't really care for that, uh, I am gonna go off to the right, a bath seems pretty much the same, alpha, we have the Julietta, which I don't think we have in uh, in thing. 8C? Is this still in Horizon? I don't know. See, like, there's so many Like, this is definitely not there. One of the weirdest, like, cool-looking but also ugly cars ever. It's it's a weird car, this. It's a really, really weird car. Um, that could be something that I could try and get. And just modify it and just do stuff to it and then see what, what we could possibly do around the number ring. 177 is cool. There's a bunch of Aston Martins here. A bunch of them. Uh, Audi have some interesting things. They have an S3. I don't think this car is actually in. Actually, is this car in, uh, in Horizon? I don't know if I've ever seen this thing in Horizon. Yeah, there's some there's some cool cars here. Old RS. Old RS7. R6, a Q7? I mean, listen, this is a racing game, a track racing game. Why would this not be in Horizon, but it is in a track racing game? You know? Like, that's that's so dumb. There's so many cars from this game that could have been added over to, to the Horizon series. And I really do hope, especially with the new uh, the new game coming out, uh, we're going to have some serious, serious cars. The M8? Seriously? I mean, I know this is like the, you know, the GT3 car for her, but the M8? Really? That is so cool. I, I actually never even saw this. 
Did they just add like newer cars in this game all the time as well? Just like in the, uh, in the um, what's it called, in Horizon. Oh, you know what I want to do actually? I want to get an M2 and just to see if the sound is different because I don't think the engine sounds are the same in this game as they are in uh, in Horizon. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're different. So I'm gonna just buy this thing stock and I'll test out the sound of it and see what it's like. As you guys know, I'm a massive M2 fan. I want one. Like, in real life, I, I genuinely want to buy one. Um, obviously not now, because I'm trying to save up for a house and do, you know, responsible adult things before I end up getting uh, a ridiculous car that I don't need. But, uh, yeah. That is cool. That is so cool. The ATS V Forza Edition. There's so much air on it, and it's so wide. I'm genuinely down to buy this. 533 horsepower, all the power going to the rear wheels, 510 uh, pound-feet of torque, 3,400 pounds. Oh, I'm down to buy this. Oh, I'm definitely buying this. What? That is such a cool looking car. Again, it's just a car that I feel like it should be in Horizon. I'm slowly bringing up my, my car collection. Okay, I think that the Cadillac is just, just seals it for me. Uh, I'm going to go into... Um, into my cars. I'm gonna go into my garage. I'm gonna swap over to the M2. Because, like I said, I wanna try and see if the sound of it is better in this game. Compared to, uh, compared to, you know, Horizon. So I'm gonna go into free play really quick here. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll just stay, stay on the number green. It doesn't really make too much of a difference to me. Um, I think it's the pre... Yeah, it is. It's the pre-face lift car. So, um... I don't think that should make a difference, but it's just going to look a little, a little different. I think sound-wise, it's still going to have the N55 in it. Come on. Do me good. Come on, Forza. You had very good engine sounds back in Horizon 3, and 2 especially. Is this anywhere near, or is this close? Okay. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible. I like the turbos though, the turbo sound is nice. It definitely sounds a million times better than in Forza Horizon 2. It sounds so much better than in Horizon 2. I know it's not still not crazy realistic or whatever, but It sounds decent. I'll take it. I'll take the sound of this. I've never actually driven it in this game. Obviously, as you can see, I'm, this is the first one that I've bought. But. It's... It's really not bad at all. Okay. I'll take it. You know, I'll, I'll take the sound. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Obviously, like I said, I'm a big fan of the M2, so... I want it to be spot on. Uh, I think there are other, other games that got it almost spot on with the sound, you know? I, it, they got it, like, really, really well done. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess the Forza series are kind of slacking in that department a little bit. Uh, yeah, I want to drive this. This looks so sick. Again, a car that just isn't in Horizon. Um, we'll go on a smaller truck instead of the, uh, the ring, should I? Or should I do a full lap of the ring? That should be fun. Yeah, I'll do a full lap of the ring. I, I like the ring. The ring is nice because it has like a mixture of a bunch of different types of corners. Plus, I know it really, really well. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, smaller tracks I know as well, but like the ring is more complicated. So this should sound really, really good now. It shouldn't sound like every LS in uh, <laughs> in Forza Horizon Four. 
every single V8 sounding almost the same in that game. It definitely sounds a lot more race car esque. The bounces for the suspension on that. Man, I really like this game. I forgot how good it is. It just get, gets boring so quickly, you know, because. Oh, I'm going way too fast. It just gets boring so, so quickly because you're sort of doing the same thing. You're just sort of driving on a track, you know, and then once you've done pretty much all the championships and stuff like that, which I have done pretty much almost every single championship in the game, I just get really, really bored of it very, very quickly. Ooh, God. I get bored of it very, very quickly, you know? Which, in, for in Forza Horizon, obviously they kept introducing cars and introducing DLCs and stuff like that, which I don't know if they've done that in this game, other than, you know, adding more cars into the game. So that's why I feel like in in Horizon it was just a better experience to play the game for a longer period of time compared to this one. This sounds great. It's like a very raspy, like, race car sound to it, to this V8, you know? It's not a burbly, like, super low end, like, super... Super bassy V8, you know? It's more like a, a raspy one. It's nice. I'm all over the place, by the way, because I don't know when I need to break with this thing. This is the first time I'm driving it. And I also much prefer driving in this game in, in Concord View. I feel like I have so much more control over cars. Or Bumper View. The Concord View is nice. I just feel like I have so much more control over the cars in this game whenever I'm driving in this view. I don't know why. I don't know why, it's just, it's just mental, I guess. But I can put the car where I want, I know how how it steers, how it goes around the corner and stuff like that. I can, I know when I need to put my foot down, I know when I need to counter steer easy. Like, it's just, everything's just nicer when I'm in cockpit. Again, I don't know how fast I need to go for some of these corners. I'm probably going to go too fast for some of them anyway. See what I mean? Like, I'm just... Slightly understeering. Well, I like this ATS. See, like, there's so many cool cars in this game that I haven't actually experienced or played with. I, I, again, I don't know if this is, like, a new car that was ever added into the game, or I just never even, like, paid attention to this when it was in the game. Like, when I was playing it. I don't remember ever, you know, buying this thing or... Or being interested in buying this car. For whatever reason. And obviously this game came out before Forza Horizon um, 4 as well. So this was pretty much the the console version. Oh, not the console version. What, what am I saying? This was the, uh, the motorsport version of the game. And then Horizon obviously came after it. With similar, you know, similar cars and similar graphics and stuff like that. But, obviously, open world. That's pretty much how I don't know, happening. But again, we need the new Horizon game, and we need a new motorsport game. I think they they will be bringing out a motorsport game next year if Horizon is coming out this year. And then I I honestly do hope that they're going to do this like properly. I hope like I hope they pay attention. They don't bring out like a Forza game every year, even though obviously it's every second year because Playground Games make. Um, make the Forza Horizon series and then turn 10 make, you know, the Motorsport series. That's why they're slightly different. Even though they're both under a Forza name. Um, I definitely do think that they should take their time when they're making the games and stuff like that. Obviously not three years, you know? Don't bring a game out after three years like, uh, <laughs> like Forza Horizon 4. But... But... Definitely take at least two years off and then just, you know, polish the game properly and have it, have it done really well. Like, I, that's why I have, like, kind of higher hopes for this Forza Horizon 5 game. Um, I honestly do think that it will be very, very good. I'm going way too fast. And I'm turning as well at the same time as braking, so I'm a terrible racing driver. But I do have really, really high hopes for this uh, next Forza Horizon title because I honestly do think that it will be good. 
Um, they spend a lot of time, you know, with the game, and I think the map shows it. First of all, if you've seen any sort of videos or streams or anything like that of the game, the map shows it. Like, it's just a massive map full of detail everywhere, and it just shows it. And same with the cars. I feel like the, the car list is just going to get, you know, more and more, um, you know, expanded, and, and it's just going to get more diverse. There's going to be a lot more interesting cars added into the game. And that's perfectly fine. As long as they support the game uh, post-release, as long as they continue to add, you know, the festival playlist stuff, just like it was in Forza Horizon 4, I'd be perfectly happy with that. But, you know, make the cars a little bit, I guess, more difficult or a little bit more fun to try and get instead of, you know, just doing the same championships over and over again. Because at some point, you know, doing literally the exact same championships over and over again, it does get kind of boring, you know, right, to try and earn your cars. Give us, like, some interesting challenges and whatever to try and get the cars. And, um... And, uh, you know, I think it'll be much more fun to, to do it that way. But uh, I definitely do think that Horizon 5 is going to be a, a huge game. I, I definitely think... Oh, I'm going too fast! It's fine. Is my wing still there? I can't check, can I? I can't even check in my mirror. I can't see if my wing is still there. I don't want to lose it. It's still there. Big old wang. Oh, I'm going into full dash, dash cap mode. Actually, dash cap mode was the one where... Uh, this is dash cam mode. <laughs> I'm driving through my dash cam right now. The other one was technically a dash cam. Because my, my cam was on top of the dashboard. But yeah, anyway, it's fine. I'm even looking forward to the next motorsport game, honestly. I, I feel like it's going to be so good to drive all those guys. The, the graphics, well, I never had a problem, like I said, with the graphics with these games, with these older ones. Um, I feel like they've done such a good job with them that I... I don't see a reason why I can I can hate them, you know, they're, oh, they're just very, very good. D driving physics are good, I enjoy the driving physics in all these games. They're not, you know, they're a lot, they're supposed to, like, simulate, you know, like what a car is like to drive, but obviously since I'm playing on a controller, I can't really simulate anything here. Uh, but for the wheel, I guess it's a little bit closer to what a car would be like in real life, but again, it's not a full-on simulator. What people used to describe it is they it's like a simcade, I guess. So like it's a, a mix between a simulator and an arcade type game. Which makes a lot more sense and it's a good description for what the Forza Motorsport titles are. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, calm down. But like the Forza Motorsport titles are, you know, like it's just a, a good description of it. Whereas, you know, Forza Horizon is a lot closer to the arcade side of things. Even though it's not full on arcade like Need for Speed, where the game literally just sort of weirdly plays for you. You just sort of put yourself in a corner and tap the brake to slide and stuff like that. It's just, it's weird, you know? It feels like a mobile game. I'm literally looking off my screen right now. That's why I went off the track, but... I don't know why Sixth Gear is just not liking it at all. Okay, we're going downhill now, so it's fine. Slightly off the track, but that's okay. I'm going to finish off with a terrible, terrible lap time of 8 minutes. I'm going to say, what, 8... 8.15? Probably even more than that. By the time we get to the finish line. Yeah. There we go. An 8.17, 5.6 line. Jesus, that was terrible. Um, but yeah. I guess I'll leave the video there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I just wanted to sort of drive around the track and talk a little bit about Forza Horizon 5 and, and that. Because I haven't really... But I wanted to check out as well one of these cool cars that was in this game that just never was in Forza Horizon, you know? And it's weird, because I feel like it should be. Because it's just such an outlandish and crazy looking thing that I feel like in Horizon it would just fit in so well. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video. If you want to see more on the channel, then of course subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it as well. Whatever it is you guys want to do, do it. Uh, obviously helps out with engagements and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.